<laughs> oh, hello, everybody! It's me, and, and guess what day it is? It's 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 Easter's Eve. I mean, it's but it's Easter, but it's not Easter. But yeah, Easter candy eggs. And I know what you're asking. Where's Joshy? Well, I killed him, and he's dead, and he's not coming back. So this is my channel. I get to rock this channel. Oh, there's something that's in my bag. guys, I'm Usually Unique here. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by and checking out another video on this channel. You guys are super lucky because you get two videos in one day on one channel, which has not happened before and it's going to be a lot of work, but you know what? It's totally worth it. And if you watch the video before it, which is right here, which is, um, I quit my job. I don't know exactly what the title is going to be yet because it's not up quite yet. But if you missed the previous video, you can check it out right here. And a little housekeeping. Um, my numbers in that video are going to be wrong because when I recorded that video, I was not at the subscriber camp that I am now. But um, in this video, we're actually only one person away from hitting that first 100 subscribers. And in that video, I was saying we were 10 away. So if you get confused, that's why. So yeah, in order to make sure we hit that first 100 subscribers, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell notification icon right next to it so you can be notified when new videos are posted. I do try to post either every Sunday or Monday, depending on how editing, life in general, and just all that craziness goes. Um, after you do that, make sure you hit that share button so if you really enjoyed this, more people can see this awesome content. And then make sure you hit that thumbs up button so that more people can find this awesome, weird, furry, goth content. And uh, YouTube's analytics will push these videos higher. And finally, leave a comment down below as I do respond back to every comment as long as it is awesome. And even if I don't get an opportunity to respond, I do read every single comment and they mean so, so much to me, guys. So, as uh, you heard my interrupting wife talking about, uh, today is Easter, and, um, that's why I'm all dressed up and fancy and in orange, and, yeah. So, Easter, you know, we're gonna go to church and watch my little sister dance, and then we're gonna go to our church, because my family goes to a different church than we do, and then we're gonna talk about Jesus, and it's gonna be awesome. But, but, everybody's, there's a hand. But everybody's favorite part of Easter is the Easter baskets and the candy and just the wonderful, super awesomeness that is in the baskets. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. We have an unboxing video, kind of, sort of, of uh, a bunch of Easter baskets. But the sad part is none of them are for me. Not none of them are. They're for me! I did. Anyway. Hey, Al. He's, he's doing inappropriate things. Yeah. Anyway. We're opening Easter baskets. And, yeah. It's, it's, Are we doing it right? Yeah. We're back. Magic camera tricks happen. And now there's a giant bag on the table. There's and, a bag. And I, have, I have Pepsi. And, and I have gum. Got gummy eggs. And I pot for him. You know what? I'm that eating. has nothing to do with my Easter basket. You know what? I'm eating one. It's Easter. <laughs> anyway, this is a giant basket that I got. A giant Easter basket that I got from my friend Chrissy. I love you, Chrissy. She gave me the basket. She gave me the giant basket. Actually, she gave me like four baskets inside a giant bag. That's why I said a giant bag. That's why we're doing an unboxing kind of thing, even though I ate some of the candy. Just a little bit. <laughs> so so for Easter. So are you, Mr. Eating Bubblegum Easter Eggs. But today is Easter. No, it ain't. Today's the day before. Camera magic. Anyway, Pinky gave me all this stuff. I made her a basket. 
basket, but I'm not gonna have time to show this plus her basket, so she's just gonna see her basket either tomorrow or whatever. But I love you! Yeah, let's get into the basket! Yeah! I'm gonna get into my Pepsi. No one cares about your Coke. No, 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 no. No, no. We're gonna settle this debate right now. We're not we're settling right. this debate! No, we're settling this debate. Alright, in the comments down it's below. It's a person! No. no. Uh, uh. It's and a personal the, preference! In the comments down below, which one's better? Pepsi or Coke? I didn't say. I didn't, it's all about that Pepsi. I never said I didn't like Pepsi, I just prefer Coke. But he wants to be a butt about it, so whatever. Anyway, basket number one! Magic wand! No, we all know what a magic wand is. We're not getting into that. Anyway! This is a family channel! Oh my it goodness! It still is. You're the one who made it dirty. Anyway, this is bubbles. You don't get to play with the bubbles. Fine, just lose them. Bubbles. And then we got a pin. A it's a flamingo pin. And then it has candy at the bottom. And then the coolest markers like I have ever seen. They're like these little candy markers. What is wrong with you? Yes, it's a very long one. I was confused too. While he's playing a bubble in. Scented burgers that are really cute. Skittles. Starburst. Starburst jelly beans. Got some Starburst jelly. Starburst? Starburst jelly bean. Ice cream flavor. There's bubble residue all over the table. <laughs> and then, and then, we got some Easter candy sticks. Got some hubba bubba bubba go hubba bubba hubba hubba bubba hubba bubba 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 bubble tape that is I guess Easter flavor? I don't know. Easter. What the, what does Easter taste like? It tastes like zombie Jesus. <laughs> and I have a good atomic keychain. In grass. Okay, the grass doesn't it's not edible. Okay, no! You are not getting that grass everywhere. I'm not cleaning it up. Or you can clean it up here. Ah, I get grass! <laughs> not edible grass. It's just regular grass. But that completes... Basket number one! No. Let me put everything in there. Basket number one complete! Boom, boom, boom. Basket number two. We have a Russell Stover caramel milk chocolate bunny. Gross. Which, <laughs> I love caramel and milk chocolate. If you know me, you know I love caramel and milk chocolate, so yeah. Joshi only likes Reese's. So move. No! Hey! You're gonna wait. I was gonna give you some. See, he's being me. Comment down below if you think Joshi deserves any of this candy, because he's being a butt. I deserve all the candy. He ate all my m &Ms. I did not, because they're caramel. <laughs> As I'm just talking about caramel, who do you think ate them all? I told you guys I've been eating most of the candy. And then we have a five pack of Re a five pack of Reese's peanut butter eggs that I was going to share with you, but you keep trying to take it. No! Stop it! <laughs> you good, Joshi? Like, literally after the video, you can eat the open Reese's. Jesus. I was gonna share them with you anyway, but now you can't have any. Yeah. And I have white chocolate ones! I have a caramelized cream, Hershey's gold, pretzel, pretzels and peanuts bar. I will shove this coke yeah. down your throat! Video. I had a gumball machine toy bank, a Kinder egg. Okay, and, and side note, side note on the Kinder egg. So in America, they like it was illegal to sell these. I know. Up until like maybe like a year and a half ago. Random facts by Josh. Right. No one cares about. Because and I found this out because of a um a British YouTuber. And you were so late. Uh, well, I didn't know they were illegal in America, and so I was watching him, and he's just like, yeah, Americans have never tried Kinder Eggs. I was like, whoop. And so, yeah. We now have Kinder Eggs. 
I also have a Cadbury caramel egg and a chocolate chocolate Cadbury egg. And then, let's see. I have a regular Hershey's. Regular Hershey's. I'm not Bugs Bunny. I don't care. You will never be the half the man Bugs Bunny is. Oh. Oh. Ew, ew, don't put your spit Reese's back in my pocket. Basket number two complete. Basket number three. Number four. No, number three. I can count. No, you can't. Okay, side note. This is a lot of candy and stuff. But that's because Chrissy likes to spoil people on the holidays, and especially me, because I'm the best. But she loves to spoil me and gets me lots of candy, and I got her lots of candy. I didn't get her this much because I'm broke. But, candy. I was looking for my babe. I don't care about your babe. I have a mini carrot, and it has a Hello Kitty lanyard in it. You're putting that back in there. Okay. I have a peep keychain. Put it back in the carrot. Put it back in the carrot. Put. Ruining my video. Okay. Bubble gum. A lot of bubble gum eggs. These things that I don't actually really kind of like, but I just I accepted them because she gave them to me. But I'll probably just give them to Joshi. I will shove the Skittles up your butt. No! Oh, this is cute. It's a Skittles like thingy with a bunny. The bunny here. Okay. I have mini Robin eggs. I love Robin eggs. And then this was an egg that had some kind of candy in it. I don't even know. Oh, this was the funny. Oh, one. that was the um Sour Patch Kids egg. Oh uh, yeah, it. you ate, yeah. See, he ate some of my candy too. He's in here complaining. <laughs> I did not fix it. Ring pop number one. Ring pop number two. I think that's all the ring pops. Oh no, this is the funny bucket because purple Snickers egg, orange Snickers egg, yellow Snickers egg, blue Snickers egg. Snickers egg. That chicken was really busy. <laughs> Pink Snickers egg. And they're all like these really crystallized eggs and they're really pretty. No, 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 no. And I'm actually gonna keep they're, those. They're a Fabergé egg. There is nothing Fabergé about those eggs. <laughs> and there's some Scooby-Doo like sour sticks and they're really good. They're really Really good. But the question is, what do you be do? We got Jesus! <laughs> Which is the most important thing on Easter, because we are Christian folk. But yeah, she got, she actually got this for me as a joke. <laughs> I don't know why she got this for me, because I hate, I don't hate, I don't like, like, candy in the shape of crosses and the stereotypical Jesus, like, I don't like that stuff. <laughs> But it's funny, so yeah. Oh, and she gave me a giant chocolate cross, of course. She would. She's not even a Christian. She literally just gives me this stuff because, yeah. There's another Scooby Doo thingy. There's another little mini carrot, and this mini carrot has little chocolate coins in it. There's a Lindor egg. Lindor. That Joshi can eat because I hate Lindor. I love Lindor. Uh, Cadbury mini eggs. Even though I appreciate everything in these baskets, it's just some stuff I just I just don't really like that much. But it's like it's kind of like a me and Joshi gift, even though she was not thinking about Joshi at all. <laughs> a Russell Stover peanut butter egg. No, it isn't. You can have the strawberry cream Russell oh, Stover egg. Oh, oh, oh. Just kidding, I like this. And then there's a truffle egg. Oh, oh, oh. All Russell Stover. And there's a push pop. 
I haven't had a push pop in like in five billion years. years. And then, there's my, one of my favorite things is Oreo Cookie Cream Bar. Oh, and the most important thing, more grass. on the table. It's festive, dang it! <laughs> okay, tough to go. Put my candy back in. Don't throw it in the basket. Throw it in the basket. But, wait, here's the most important question. Was there, lo was there lotion in the basket? <laughs> I'm not putting the lotion on its skin. <laughs> well, I guess you'll get the hose again. I never got the hose in the first place. Basket number three is complete. Four. I can count. Basket number ten. <laughs> and finally. Yeah, she gave me drumsticks. Basket number four. You know what? You know what? You know what? What? Eat a cow tail. Ah, cow tails are gross. Cow tail. They're gross. They're disgusting, but whatever. Basket number four. Five. Actually, basket number five will be given, actually given to me later. Oh, yeah, I forgot there was a basket Yeah, coming. she literally, she gave me all of these baskets and is still working on another basket. I still have another basket to look forward to. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why I love my friends. All right, she gave me some Black Lives Matter, right here. And this stuff smells really, really, really good. I have one thing to say. That's racist. My mouth is open. Mm-hmm. Here is the edible grass. Grass. That I've actually never tried. I've never tried edible grass either. So we're trying it on camera. Oh God. We're doing a charity. See, we have to actually eat some of this candy. We can't just show it on camera. Please, everybody, like, are you gonna eat it? I'm scared. Here. Here. Take that one. You don't like blueberries. I like blueberries. You know what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of that edible paper. Oh, yeah. Where you can write the edible notes. Huh. It's not bad, but it's, um. It's weird. It's weird. But it's not bad. It's just weird. Anyway, what else is in the basket? I don't know. Take that. There's it. Oh. This was something I just put in the basket because it's something I got like a couple of years ago that somebody had made and it's really cute. It says chilling with my peeps. Oh. Edible grass is a weird after I'm gonna go check the time on the camera. Okay, so we're starting. Continue with basketball. Hello. I don't. Don't ask me about this foolishness. Okay. Ghirardelli chocolate caramel buddies. One of my favorite things in the world because they're chocolate and caramel. And the caramel. When Ghirardelli puts caramel and chocolate, it's just. I just like Ghirardelli in general. No, but he puts caramel and chocolate. And they always have the best. But yeah, obviously those are gone. Those are my favorite things that she, out of all of these baskets, this was my favorite. I'm and I wish it was more. Actually, I'm shocked it wasn't the Swedish fish. Thank you for revealing what's in the basket that we haven't even like shown yet. Thank you so much, Joshi. Might as well show that the giant bag of Swedish fish. This is a Swedish fish. It's Swedish fish jelly beans. Oh. Which is, the, which is still amazing. I have never seen that before, and I'm gonna have fun with these. The Swedish fish is my second favorite candy. Okay, okay, now here's a question. Here's a, here's a question. What is your, okay, first favorite candy, and then your first favorite chocolate, since they're two different things. Oh, my favorite, okay, see, so yeah. Swedish fish probably would be my favorite candy then, I think. I'm almost positive. I don't think I have another favorite candy. Favorite chocolate bar then. Favorite chocolate... 
chocolate bar. Oh, it can be any type of chocolate since because I put chocolate and like hard candy into like two different categories. Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli. <laughs> those Ghirardelli chocolates with the caramel inside. Those are my mm. favorite. I like. It used to be Snickers, but I'd rather have a Ghirardelli chocolate bar. I guess. I uh, see. My favorite like candy would be uh, sour gummy worms, and then my favorite chocolate is obviously Reese's. Obviously, because he keeps trying to steal. <laughs> All of my Reese's. Anyway, back to the basket. We're almost done. Put my unicorn basket down. I have strawberry coasters. They don't smell like strawberry, but they're cute. Mascara in a really cool shaped like bottle thing. So we can all be fabulous. No, so I can be fabulous. You can be left out in the dust with your Reese's. Some super smooth body lotion with shea butter and coconut oil. I told you there was lotion in the bucket. Shush! <laughs> I just realized that there's actually lotion in the bucket. <laughs> and you remember those like lollipops you had to like sell in high school? And then like I would secretly steal some of the money. What? What? Anyway, she got me some of those. Like I remember, I literally remember selling these things. We never sold those in my high school. We did. We sold cookies. And then I saw them in stores and I was like, what's the point of us selling them? I used to, like, almost every high, like, not even high school. And I sold these in middle school. Fundraiser. And, and in elementary school. We always sold these flippin' lollipops. And they were, like, the best lollipops ever. See, we would have to sell, the, like, the box of, like, assorted chocolate. No, we sold lollipops. And I would see, I would buy so many. No, we sold cookies, too. I, like... I would buy so many of them, but I'm like, I'm just putting my own money in here, and then I would pay, <laughs> I would steal some of the money I earned from it. <laughs> it's just bad. Bad. Actually, I think the weirdest- You can't trust kids with money. <laughs> really? Okay, y'all are dumb if y'all think you can trust children with money. I was only like 10. Or, no, I was 11. But you should have a moral compass by that time. Dude, it's money. There are some adults that can't even handle money. Shade. Mega shade. Anyway, what? But I, no, I was gonna say, I think the weirdest thing I ever sold as a kid would have been, um, I don't know, like we, we would sell like these TV dinner type things and like they, we would sell like the pizza and stuff and it was weird. And there's more grass! So the last thing in the bucket, liquid lipstick. Yeah, liquid matte lip color, and it's black, obviously. You know, surprisingly, I'm not wearing black today, but that's because it's Easter and I'm trying to be Meet my husband, Grasshead. No, those are, that's our next door neighbors. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, okay. But we can't smoke this. Complete and utter side note, literally, Okay, we live in an apartment. It's Easter! We are supposed to be positive! We are supposed Like, it literally smells like a weed factory when our neighbors come home. It's, it's terrible. He doesn't understand the concept of positive. Positivity! You know what? Fine. <laughs> I shall add to the positivity. Oh, God. You're going to make the grass all wet and sticky. Luckily, grass is easy to clean up. <laughs> Unlike packing peanuts. Yeah, these this is easier to clean up than like something else. And now I have to pack this bucket. Ah, I'm getting wet. I'm this is this is this is a okay. So these are all. Ah, you're making me wet. These getting me all soapy. Shut up. Nasty. Anyway. This concludes the at least the Easter basket, but now you get to actually see me eat candy because I want to eat candy. Does Joshua want to add anything else to this video? Um, yes, you do. I don't know. Like I've always growing up, Easter was interesting in my household because my mother would literally make baskets of our favorite candy, and we would go to bed at night. Be nothing there. Um, wait, it could be you one. We would wake up in the morning, and then, kind of like on Christmas, there'd just be like a basket sitting in front of our door of like our favorite candy and like little Aww. trinkets to play with. Um, At least your mom was cute about it. Yeah. 
That was a, that was a, that was a good Easter memory. But of course, of course, like every, you always have these cute flipping memories, and like I don't. Well, no. Here's the thing, though. We can eat. We can actually eat the candy because half the time, half the time, we would be getting in the car to either A, go to church, or B, go up to Lynchburg to celebrate Easter with the family up in Lynchburg. And so it's like, you could look at the candy and be like, oh, what candy? But you couldn't actually eat the candy. And it was just it was, it was like, ah, oh, this is torture. You didn't pick up a piece of candy and take it on the way? We could, we could take one piece of candy to take with us. And That's like on Christmas. On Christmas, I never really had time to like play with my presents. Like I had a little bit of time. But most of the time, my mother was like, get your butt in the shower. We're going to our, my aunt's house to like eat Christmas dinner at three o'clock. Because on Christmas and Thanksgiving and all these other holidays, we eat dinner early for some reason. For whatever reason, dinner is at three o'clock. <sighs> so like, I never really had time to play with my toys, even if it was like eight o'clock in the morning and we didn't have dinner till three. She was like, you need to get up, take a shower. You don't have time to play with your toys, Diamond. I'm like, you're downstairs drinking coffee. <laughs> That's not the edible crap. Here, have some more. Ew! <laughs> ah. Okay, this video is way too ah. long. It's way too long to be sitting here watching Josh just get bored <laughs> and start eating the non-edible. I'm not bored. I'm highly entertained. But, uh, yeah, guys. Ooh, I can race these. Ah! But, um, yeah. If you guys like this. This was my Easter. This, this was like probably one of the best Easter's I've ever seen because holy cheese. And I have another basket. I, I'm happy. She wants her bag back though. Which I don't blame her, it's cute. But yeah, this is my Easter and I love you Chrissy. And if anybody else wants to send me lots of candy or like Prezi, lots of goth stuff. Somebody make me a goth Easter basket. I will love you forever. A, just a black basket. A bunch of black crap cult, cult stuff. Uh, I second this motion, but I want trip in mine. I want talking to me. <laughs> this is my channel now. No! Yo, get me so a lot of black crap cult stuff. Uh, a lot of makeup. A lot of studs and spikes and skulls. And go to Hot Topic. <laughs> Even though, if you go to Hot Topic, just go to the black crap cult section and the band t-shirt section. And like the other gothy sections. The gothy email punky sections. Not the Disney and the pop figures and all that. And then go online and get washed out. Goth Easter basket. Or goth. Since Easter's over, go do goth what holiday? Goth Mother's Day basket. Even though I'm not a mother yet. 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 Yet yeah, I will be. And it counts. Um, yeah. So if you guys want to. Shut up. Yeah, no, it's cute. If you guys want to check out Dia's channel. My um, channel is empty. Do not go to my channel. All you will see is a bunch of barren bones and old videos because I have not uploaded a video in years. Do not go to my channel. Unless you want to watch all my old videos, you are more than welcome to. Not stopping you. But literally, I don't know when the next time I'm posting a video. My life is crazy because of this. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> you go to the Iridescent Veins channel. Don't go there either. I ain't posted crap up there in a while. I haven't even made music recently. I'm going to be making music. I'm probably going to be making music tomorrow, hopefully, if I don't have a lot of stuff to do, but I've just been so busy. Therefore. Between him and work and my nieces and my family and the day. So anyway. Diamond's going to explode! Anyway. Yeah! Grass. Um, if you guys like this video, like I said earlier, make sure you guys. Make, make sure you guys snicker. <laughs> No, <laughs> that was a bad joke. Um, make sure you guys hit that uh, subscribe button uh, as well as the little bell notification icon. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And uh, there's grass in my shirt. And um, I will see you guys on the next video, which we will return to the whole furry thing next week, guys. All right, unusually I'm turning, unique. I'm turning him into the Easter Scarecrow for that horrible pun. That was just a bad pun. That was just bad. The is strange and unusually unique. Out. We're not out.
Him and his baby ties? Putting it in your pants too? Easter Scarecrow. Okay. Alright. And you're too unique and damn strange. Out.